The question is, find the y-intercept, the symmetry point and the zeros of the cubic equation y is equal to x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 1 which is equal to x minus 1 x squared plus 1 and sketch the graph of this function. So let's do the y-intercept first. So the y-intercept happens on, um, on the y-axis when x is 0. So if x equals 0, y is equal to 0 cubed minus 0 squared plus 0 minus 1, which is minus 1. So the y-intercept is minus 1. Cool. I'll do the zeros next. Now the zeros are the values of x which make my function zero. So if that comes out to zero, I need to solve that equation. And the only way to solve an equation I know, like this, is to um, factorize. And luckily it's already been factorized for us. Okay, so that means that one of those two factors has to be zero. That's the only way to multiply two numbers and get zero. So x minus 1 equals zero or x squared plus 1 equals zero. So x equals 1 or x squared equals minus 1. Now, x squared can't be negative if x is a real number because if you square a negative number you still get a positive number. So there's no solution so x squared is minus 1. So the only 0 is x equals 1. Okay, and next we need the symmetry point. Um, Alright, well, the symmetry point of a parabola was minus b on 2a let me have a look up in my notes. Ah yes, it's minus b on 3a for a cubic. So axis of symmetry for parabola was minus b on 2a. Parabola had power 2. And um, symmetry point for cubic has minus b on 3a and the cubic's got um, highest power 3. So that should help me remember it for next time. But for the moment, let's just write that down. Symmetry point has x equals minus b on 3a, which would be, now b is a coefficient of x squared, so that would be minus minus 1 on 3 times 1, which is a third. Okay, so, so y for that point would be what I get when I put x equals a third into that equation, so a third cubed minus a third plus a third minus 1, which is 1 over 27 minus 1 over 9 plus 1 over 3 minus 1. If I put everything over 27, I reckon I could do it. So 9 times 3 would be 27, so that would be 3 27 3 times 9 would be 27, so that would be 9 27 and that would be 27 27 and so I get, alright, 1 minus 3 would be minus 2, minus 2 plus 9 would be 7, 7 minus 27 would be minus 20. So symmetry point is, it's got x of a third and y of minus 20 over 27. So let's just check that I've done everything. I needed to find the y-intercept, which is here, and the symmetry point, which is here, and the zeros, and there's only one of them, and then I just needed to sketch it. So all that I have left is to sketch my graph. So let me just make a new page to do that. Right, well, the graph of a cubic always looks something like this, or possibly like this. And this one would happen if the coefficient of x cubed 
was um, positive, and this one would happen if the coefficient of x cubed was negative. Now my coefficient of x cubed, I've got one x cubed, so I've got this one. So I know it's going to go generally upwards. I don't really have an idea of how strong those bends are, because I haven't actually calculated where the bends happen. Um, but that's okay. At least I've got an idea of what direction it ought to go. So why don't I um, actually draw the axes and see what I can do. So we've got the y-axis and the x-axis. Now the y-intercept, just having a look. Oops, sorry. The y-axis, y-intercept was minus 1. So minus 1 and the x-intercept, so the zeros was x equals 1, so 1 and the symmetry point was 1 third minus 20 over 27. So here's the 1 third 20 over 27. Just let me use my calculator for a second. Twenty over twenty seven is about point seven five, so about three quarters. So that's minus twenty over twenty seven there. Okay, so here's my symmetry point here, and my graph goes generally upwards. So being a symmetry point, um, the same distance above the symmetry point at minus one is below and the same distance across, so uh, roughly here is what's going to match the y-intercept. So let's see if we can do that. It's going to come up here, and then it's going to go like that. Now just from the way I've drawn my graph, I can see that it probably doesn't have any kinks at all, but there's my symmetry point. And there's my y-intercept, and there's my x-intercept. So I've drawn everything on my sketch, and this is y equals x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 1. So I've sketched my function, and that's all I had to do.